Merci à La vie du DJ Have you had any personal experiences with ISIS attacks? Um, was there a personal desire to join? Were you perhaps facing some challenges at home? Have some of your family been targeted by ISIS? Yeah, the experience I have, I have many experiences because a friend of mine, my childhood friend was killed, who is senior brother, the, uh, the same father, the same mother was killed by ISIS. So uh, that's what um, encouraged me, what pissed me up to join the fight. And so what are your biggest challenges that you face as a special force soldier? Have you had to lose contact with some of your friends, some of your family? And how are you coping with those challenges? Well, the biggest challenge we have for most of the guys that has you know, PTSD, like maybe in the night someone will just wake up and start firing. Like, yeah, I've seen them, this, that, they understand that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's it, honestly. Um, and so you've talked about these challenges and you've talked about your experience. How can you convince other young people um, in Nigeria or all around the world to also put their life on the line and fight evil groups like ISIS? How can you convince them that the fight is worth fighting for? Well, um, the easy way is to convince them or to tell them the truth about ISIS. ISIS are just like pandemic. They are everywhere, anywhere, everywhere in the earth and trying to grow up their campaign globally. Because if we don't fight them now, there is no peace for we, the youths, and there is no peace for the young generations which we are fighting for them, which our ancestors fought for all that we are living today. You've gathered a big Instagram page. A lot of people follow you on Instagram. From a personal standpoint, has this helped you with your missions? Has this been a coping mechanism as well for your PTSD, perhaps? Well, yeah, it helps a lot because uh, millions of people across the nation doesn't know about our fight. And the Instagram, many people help us share like, more light to people that doesn't know anything about war in Africa against ISIS. And uh, you you sent me a link myself for aiding you financially. Have you received a lot of support thanks to Instagram, especially in terms of donations? Well, um, yeah, I can say like um, Norman has supported me a lot, honestly, because he sent uniform to me and some other stuff which I share with my bodies here. That financial aid, does it help you get um, new equipment or how, how exactly do you, do you spend the aid that you receive? Well, um, we used to buy some tourniquet and share with other people that doesn't have, because many people lose their own in combat. Many people doesn't have tourniquet, which is something that each soldier is supposed to have. After your weapon, you're supposed to have your tourniquet and first aid kit. Because you're fighting ISIS so frequently, how do you see the future of that organization? Do you believe that extremism is going to continue to spread or do you believe that it's taken a hit in recent years? ISIS campaign in Africa is very huge. It's very huge. It needs urgent, 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 urgent counter to counter this virus because I compare them as a virus. They are just like pandemic, as I said earlier. Because there has a lot of followers in Africa which will support them, support them 100%. We need a lot of a lot, a lot of people to counter this, this campaign before it go viral. Do you believe that any former member of ISIS, let's say you captured one of their members, do you think they have the potential to come back in society? Or do you think that they are way too brainwashed to ever come back as a normal person? Well, most of them are locals, which they were captured in their funds. They forced them to fight, combine them to ISIS, forced them to fight against the, uh, the military. In, in our country and Africa as well, because most of the people that we used to capture, they are not really born ISIS, they are just combated by force, force them to fight, take arms and fight against the, the government in the name of religions. Just giving the Islamic bad name in the name of fighting for Islam, Islam does not ask anyone to kill anyone who refuses to join or Christian or some Jewish or any other ethnic city. The Islam did not ask anyone to kill. It's just their bad ideology of them killing innocent people in the name of religion. Have you received any foreign volunteers, maybe even people that aren't from Africa at all? Has anybody joined your fight with you? Not yet. I uh, have many people in my DM, like, uh, if there is any chance for them to come and support, they will come. And I'm really grateful for that, honestly, because the government last time discussed about 
bringing out foreign volunteers to come and support due to the current situation now is like it's disturbing honestly it's disturbing honestly the current situation now and in your in your let's say team as a whole I suppose there must be a lot of different, uh, let's say, well, not necessarily different cultures, but there must be people with different religions, perhaps. How how does that turn out well uh, as a team? Uh, yeah, we don't talk about religions or Christian or Jewish or yeah, this ethnicity. We don't do about that. We part as a brothers. Me, I say, well, I'm a Muslim, but I don't take any Christian or any, other, any religions as a bad person or something else. We are one body. We are brothers. So we fight as a team. We fight as a system. We don't discriminate here. Do you have any, perhaps, interesting stories or inspiring words to tell the viewers? Well, um, the stories here is fighting evils take a lot of courage. It's not just something that you just like feel like, yeah, I want to fight. Because the first contact you experience, it may be the end of your life or something else. But the best thing is you have the zeal, you have the mind, the courage that you are doing this to unborn generation and for we to live in peace in the near future. I've been here fighting for more than five years, non-stop. This thing has, the fight has destroyed many of my plans, but I know I'm doing it for innocent people and God will reward me for this fighting for innocent people. I'm not doing it for myself alone. I'm doing it for the wild world because I was, when I was child, fight has been going on in Iraq, Syria. I was seeing it in television. But today, I'm not fighting those people that I'm seeing in television then. So, issue of fighting terrorism is everybody's problem. Not my alone or you alone. We have to join hand and put them together. Root them out of this world. Not only our country. Root them out of the world because they are pandemic terrorists. They spread their ideology, their campaigns in globally. So I urge anyone who has the zeal, the mind, to join the fight and counter ISIS campaign. Those people are evils. I mean, very evil. 